Cheers. This Thank you so to fun. this adventure. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> Little did we know it's going to be this fun. I know. <laughs> He called me that night at like 11 o'clock, 11.30. The Bears just notified my agent that they're gonna trade me. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, you're at training camp. And he said, hey, I want you to come meet one of my teammates and his family. I was like, Greg, I am just drove in from Chicago. I haven't showered in two days. What are you talking about? He's like, no, no, I already made the plans. We gotta do it. So just drop the dogs <laughs> off at the hotel and meet me here. So. Here I come, no shower, <laughs> didn't know where I was. I got lost on Queens Road, so I was late to dinner. And it was at this table, at this mellow mushroom eight years ago. This is our favorite pizza spot, but we are here multiple times a week in the spring. And Greg is a little superstitious when it comes to the pizza, right? Can you explain that a little bit? Not a little, a lot superstitious. I mean, it's crazy. Do so. you remember the snowstorm yes. that you opened? Yes. We kept it open. We wanted to, uh, it, and, and the staff that was with us was energized about yeah. being able to do that and stay open for him. That was a great moment. That was great. Kara says this is the best dish in Charlotte. She's right. <laughs> <laughs> and when he comes in, we call him Big Rig because he always gets the rigatoni. Yeah. So this is something that you, you like, know your stuff. I'm very particular. Okay. Like, okay. Greg knows not to hand me a, a Starbucks, Starbucks cup of coffee. coffee. So we're going to start you guys off with some samples of our blueberry cheesecake. Ooh. Uh, and then, we have our <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our cookie monster, which is a staple here. It's All right, are you right-handed or left-handed? Um, left. Really? Me too. See, I knew I liked you. All right, so you're going to copy that here. Mm -hmm. And same with all of them. You're watching something significant, the first of its kind in our region, all thanks to the Hardest Yard, the Olsons, and a dedicated group of health professionals. Ready? Go. One, two, three. High five. The red thing's coming. Whoa. Kara says in 2017, they learned their foundation was doing well enough to expand the hardest yard, and they were approached about developing a cardiac neurodevelopmental clinic here at Levine Children's Hospital. He said now more kids are surviving heart surgery, but we're finding down the road that they are having some type of developmental delays. So for me, it kind of struck a chord. Kara and I are very excited. Last year, we were able through our foundation and through events like this, we we're able to pledge two and a half million dollars and we're going to spearhead. Thank you. We're going to, that money is going to be used to, for the expansion of the Hardest Yard and we're going to be spearheading a $10 million project at Levine Children's Hospital. And it's going to be a 20,000 plus state of the art um, cardiac specific floor on the campus um, over there near Levine Children's Hospital. And it's going to house all of the subspecialties and all of the disciplines that make up the pediatric cardiac group here at Levine Children's Hospital. You care a lot about investing in local businesses and pulling them along with um, with whatever you guys are doing. So, I mean, why is that something that you, you guys have almost made it a mission to, to we, make that part have, of what you're doing. We have. Through the Heart Assured, I've seen the support of the Charlotte community, so I'm like, that's the way we can pay back to these local companies and restaurants and vendors and um, help them grow as we grow also. You were like, we've got to go visit the Kindreds. I just love them as people. We've gotten to know Katie and Joe a little bit. Um, we love their restaurants. We lo love the food that they've brought to Charlotte. We kept chatting and eating. It's something we've become good at and it's been a personal pleasure getting to know Kara, a little about her family and the incredible work they've done and continue to do in Charlotte. Now you have three kids, now we have like three. eight uh -huh. years later. It's I know. Cool. And at that time, I was like crying because of the trade. I was moving out of a city that like we bought our first home in. I had a business that I had grown and was doing really well personally. So it's very hard to leave Chicago. But now looking back, it was the best thing that ever happened to us. Charlotte's home. You know, we have such a strong connection to the Children's Hospital. What felt scary at the moment now makes me so happy, you know? Yeah.